Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is probably my last update on cheddar before we head down to Kentucky for the thoroughbred makeover. I haven't really shared an update here on cheddar since June, so I thought I'd take you through some of what we've been up to in the last month or so leading up to the makeover. So in August, I had brought Cheddar up to Sagerty's for their August Hits Versace show. So he did training two and three on all three days, and it probably wasn't his best course that we've ever had, but August Hits is a really busy show with a lot of atmosphere and these big tents, and actually in a lot of ways, I think it's a little bit scarier for horses than the makeover. So I was really happy to see how Cheddar handled the show atmosphere, um, and it was his first overnight show, so I was really glad to see that he was able to tolerate that experience really well. So soon after we got back from August hits, I was going on vacation, and of course the day before I left, Cheddar came in late. Nothing stood out to me as obviously wrong with him. Even when I put my hoof testers on him, he didn't really react. So I had the vet out the next day, and of course as soon as the vet got there, he was suddenly very sensitive to the hoof testers. But that was good because then we knew he just had a stone bruise and I was able to just have my farm sitter pack the hoof and wait for it to resolve. Unrelated to his training, but also while I was away, Cheddar decided to let himself out of his stall and went ahead and freed Moose as well. So the two of them were frolicking out in the middle of the night until those two criminals were eventually detained. Now I'd love to tell you that Cheddar turned his life around, but he actually continued to be a criminal for a few more days after I got back from my vacation. He jogged sound one day, so I had a shoe put back on, and then as soon as I started riding him over non-manicured footing, he went lame again, and so I had to give him another week off of packing the hoof before he was really, actually, truly sound that time. By the time I brought Cheddar back into work again, it had been close to a month since he'd been in regular work, and he was just being uncharacteristically naughty. So I had the vet out to pull blood work on him to check for Lyme disease. It turns out that was probably unnecessary because after two days of being back in work, he was back to his normal self. So I think he was just being a seven-year-old thoroughbred who'd had a month off. But I did get his blood work back and it was negative for Lyme. So with the very limited time that we have left before we leave for the makeover, I'm trying to modify my freestyle routine a little bit so that it's a little bit simpler for Cheddar and we're playing a little bit on his strengths because we just don't have the time to school some of the elements that I'd originally planned for his routine. And so now that Cheddar has fully recovered from his lameness and he's gotten his good attitude back on, we're going to work on just making everything a little bit cleaner and smoother. Um, a lot of the work for dressage will apply towards freestyle too, and then we're going to try to you know, do as much from the original freestyle as we can without overfacing him before the actual makeover. So thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see how the makeover works out for us.